Have you ever heard about living people getting their freak on with a ghost? Well, the following information may surprise you. Well, I'm your friend Real Ghost Hunter One, and this is what my guide to the dark side of paranormal has to say. Although the idea of intimacy with a ghost seems laughable to most people, it says here that it's a real experience and has been well documented. But because it invites ridicule and jokes, most victims don't come forth with their story. You don't have to search too hard to find info on this. It's all over. And obviously, sometimes they don't even need us. Here's another similar picture. I'll let you stare at that while I continue. It says here, the land of the dead offers little or nothing in the way of fleshly pleasures, such as eating, drinking, smoking, and physical pleasures. So when ghosts have the chance to visit the land of the living, they look for ways to indulge. Apparently not having a body doesn't stop them if they find the right host. These randy encounters with ghosts range from being touched in an intimate way all the way up to doing the full act including physical sensations and the big O. It's not surprising that most of these activities happen at night when the victim's laying in bed. Most of them are women who sleep alone. Now you might be thinking about incubus and succubus, which are simply the male and female versions of demons which were never human. But that's not what we're talking about here. Or is it? The typical scenario is this. The victim will awake in the night to an invisible force pushing down on them or on the bed, and they feel invisible hands and a body upon them. They may see and smell the ghost, perhaps even feel the breath on their neck. The experiences range from being compassionate to an all-out unpleasant physical assault. Some victims feel that it's forced upon them, while others feel they have a choice whether or not to indulge. It says here that ghost intimacy is not always unpleasant, and some people secretly admit that they find it quite erotic. Let me know if this subject interests you. I've got three or four real stories to go along with it.